हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सी दिस क्वेश्चन हियर अ रेक्टेंगुलर लूप कैरिंग अ करंट आई इज सिचुएटेड नियर अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट वायर दैट द वायर इज पैरेलल टू वन ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ द लूप राइट टू वन ऑफ द साइड्स ऑफ द लूप इज इन द प्लेन ऑफ द लूप ओके राइट इफ अ स्टडी करंट आई इज स्टैब्लिश इन द वायर एज शोन इन द फिगर then the loop will so it is talking about what will happen to the loop so 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 let us try to find what are the forces will act between these two loops okay so this straight wire will put the magnetic field so let us talk about here so since the current in this direction due to this wire the field will go in backward right uh, right into the downward direction right into the plane of paper so if you apply the i dl that is the force vector so the dl vector is in rightward direction right and the b vector in downward direction so if you do the cross product so the force will act in this direction so here the force will act df in outward direction if you similarly if you take here some element okay so here see the dl vector is in this direction the field vector will be in uh, into the plane of paper so if you take the cross product so we will get like this dl in this direction that is leftward magnetic field into the plane of paper okay right so if you we'll do the cross product uh, using this one then we'll get the direction of force in downward direction so that will be df okay and if you'll we'll take the magnitude of this df and the magnitude of this df will be equal and the directions are opposite so these two forces will cancel out each other and similarly will happen and the same situation will happen for all the elements here and for all the elements here so whatever force is acting in this side right these forces will get cancel out by the forces acting on this side so net force will right so so right so the sum of all the forces acting on this side and the sum of all the forces acting in this side will be balance each other okay so they will cancel out each other now i need to right talk about these two sides so let us talk about these two sides so if we'll take this side and this side so these two sides are under the uniform magnetic field so let us talk about this side first so this i am calling as 1 and this i am calling as 2 here so for this side the uh, current is going in upward direction the magnetic field is right into the plane of paper so if you'll do here if you'll do this formula then i l cross b the force will act in this direction okay if i talk about this then l vector is in downward direction magnetic field is into the plane of paper so i l cross b that will be this direction so this is the force f2 and this is the force f1 okay now you right if you'll we'll see here this side 1 is closer to this straight wire and this side 2 is far away from this uh, straight wire so obviously uh, right uh, right right the distance is a smaller in the right so wire 1 is at a smaller distance to this wire and wire 2 is at larger distance from this wire so obviously the magnitude of f1 will be greater than f2 so i can see here f1 will be greater than f2 the reason is wire 1 is the side 1 is closer to this a straight wire so f1 will be greater than f2 so from here i can say uh, the net force will be towards the wire so the wire one will attract this loop so which option is coming here uh, move towards the wire option c is correct okay okay students i hope you understood this question